the funny thing in life about people who are in positions of power is they often don't realize their abuse of power. They will often consider what they're doing a way to stop crime or a way to prove fraud. But here's the deal. There are certain parts of a human being that we don't reveal. And when someone thinks they have the right to take that information and turn it into something public, they're going to have to face the fact that they've just raped someone. They've really raped them of their rights. They've raped them of their privacy. They've raped them of their intellectual property, like which is always happening to me. They've raped God of his plans for someone's life. And it's not for you to be an abomination to the Lord. It's not for you to punish someone in the name of God. And it's not for you to take someone out of their clothes and screw them out of their life. But that's what you're doing. And that is an abuse of power. But you're going to say that you're here to save the hour? Not on your life are you saving anything. You're lying to yourself about what you're doing. You're actually committing rape. And you think... You're righteous? At what point did Jesus Christ say, go rape that person? Go take away everything they own. Go steal from them from their home. Go lie to them about what you did there. Go lie. So don't claim to be religious and don't claim to be Christian and don't tell me all this stuff because I don't believe you and I'll never believe you again. Every single one of you lied, stole, and cheated me out of my life. So why would I ever care about your life?